Jeff will then come do some performance here with Tyler, Terry, one of our techs. Uh, Tyler is going to install a police coolant bypass in this Cummins behind us here. And uh, I thought, hey, let's go ahead and shoot a Tech Tip Tuesday on our method for removing the rear freeze plug out of the block. A lot of people struggle with that. Uh, it could be quite the chore getting the freeze plug out of the back of the block. And as we'll show in a later part of this video, uh, the ways that you can go terribly wrong getting that freeze plug out. So uh, we're, we're gonna have a couple segments here. Uh, we're gonna go over to the machine shop and demonstrate on a core engine where it's much easier to show you our method for getting out. And then we'll come back to the truck and actually remove this one original plug out of this truck, so. Okay, so we're over at the machine shop with the core engine to first demonstrate on this engine so we can actually show you what we're doing. And then we'll go over to the uh, engine that's uh, in that truck. So we want to show the tools that you're going to need to do this. So you need a T-bar puller. Really all you need is the T-bar from a puller set. Uh, even a steering wheel puller I think would, would be able to do this. But this is about a you know, four inch T-bar puller. So we got a 3 8 bolt. Uh, this is a full thread bolt. You don't have to have a full thread, but it sure helps. Uh, this one's I think three and a half inch long. Three inch I think would cut it. Four mm -hmm. inch is about the max length that would fit with the firewall. And then a couple eight millimeter uh, bolts, eight millimeter by 1.25 bolts. And then in the truck, you'll need, uh, if you're using a 3 8 9 16 wrench and a ratchet wrench. Uh, here, demonstrating on this engine, we're gonna use the ratchet with a socket. And then you need a flathead screwdriver, a uh, very short pry bar, a little pick. So uh, while Tyler's getting this set up on the block, I'm gonna show you what we're trying to achieve. So the freeze plug's in the rear of the block. And if you see the cylinder, obviously it's you know, cylindrical. So you've got the, the dead space over here. What you're trying to do is go over to the side, push in on the freeze plug, which will push the one side in and rock the other side out, which enables you to get in there and pop it out. So you can see the reason we chose this block to show you on, you see some nice person decided to drill that rear freeze plug out and you see the outcome. They drilled about, I think they left about 60 thousandths wall thickness in that cylinder. So we wound up building an engine for this and the box now junk. So Tyler's getting this set up. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about was you're gonna to have to clean the threads out of the block. You gotta think nothing's ever been in those holes. So you need a tap or a uh, thread chaser, or you know, a thread tool to get in there and clean those out. So you're using the two eight millimeters here. You're not using the big 12 millimeter where your bypass is gonna bolt in. You're using these two eight millimeter holes. Uh, if you had a T-bar puller that would fit uh, 12 millimeter bolts in, you could use two of those three bigger ones, but this is nice and compact and it fits in there good and you can see how it clears the adapter plate. So Tyler's gonna go ahead, he's got this set up. So we got the, the two bolts to hold the T-bar in there. And then if you see, we have the bolt, the pusher bolt offset and we're as far, we're to the extreme edge that we can be. So again, so we can push that freeze plug around the maximum amount. So you see that freeze plug? You see what it's doing right there? Now this is a new freeze plug that we knocked in through the video, but on the truck it'll be raw. So you'll see, and see right there, it's that, that easy. Now in the truck, sometimes they get bound up and Tyler, go and leave that in there and we'll show them. So if uh, if the plug pushes in on the you know side you're pushing on here, but doesn't come out all the way on the far side, which this is what happened in the truck. So we can actually demonstrate what we did. So if this plug is sitting, let's say like this, but it's gonna be in more, then you can get on this side here and push in like that and it'll pop it out. It'll, it'll finish it off and do the job. So works very good. Uh, now we're gonna go over the truck and show you on a uh, like 150,000 mile truck, so. Okay, so we're here on the truck with Tyler, gonna demonstrate actually doing this on the truck. So here, Tyler, why don't you see if he can Get the camera back there. Now this particular truck obviously doesn't have a cylinder head. That's usually when we're doing these. It's a good time to do the bypass when you're, you know, either doing a head gasket job or building an engine. So it, you can do this with the head on, but it's tough. So Katana, go ahead.
feel it getting loose. Yeah, and he's using a ratchet wrench. Makes life easier, but also you can see it's kind of tricky to keep it on the, the head of the bolt. Yep, which is all the way through. All right, so we ran the uh, bolt in until it bottomed out, which did unseat the freeze plug and cock it. And then just to give a little more of a lift to grab onto, Tyler's got a uh, flathead screwdriver. Bam, there you go. Bam. So about three minutes or less. You know, that, that didn't include obviously setting it up, but very quick, easy, and non-invasive on the block. Okay, so we demonstrated our method for you know, getting this plug out. Uh, as you can see, this is the plug that came out of there, the original plug, and you can see how our pusher bolt was all the way over here on the corner. And as we demonstrated earlier, that's the key part is getting it over here, cocking that plug, and being able to pop it out. So, uh, you know, nice and simple, uh, you know, including time to, to chase the bolt holes and uh, clean it out, get prepped, you might have 10, 15 minutes in this whole operation, and you don't have to worry about damage the block doing this. So, uh, you know, besides this part, uh, just follow, you know, police instructions on the kit. So, hopefully this helps.